My name is Maggie from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm here to give God the glory. Hey, I am this same person that the Lord rolled out a debt of over 21 million naira for last year. I'm here again you know, with the number one testimony on my prayer point list. Hmm. As of last year, I was engaged to get married. And all of a sudden, on the 31st, my fiance out of nowhere told me he was over the marriage, he's not gonna get married to me anymore. Ah, I lost my mind. I'm like, what is going on? That his friends said this, his friends said that, his friends blah. <laughs> I lost my mind. I called this person, I spoke, he's like, nope, his mind is made up. On the first, the first night, people were going to church to thank God for, you know, entering the new year, I was home sobbing and crying and I didn't know what to do. But at that point, I said to him, I said, listen, you've called up this engagement. But one thing I know, I didn't even have anyone I was talking to when I made that statement to him. I said, one thing I know is that my marriage will still hold in 2023. But the difference will be that I'll marry someone else, not you. I just spoke out of faith. On the first, my mom went to church, came back. I was crying. I was bitter. I came to my mom and I said, see, this is what is going on. But if 2023 has started like this with me crying, it will end in praise for me. The fasting started in a normal day me. When, when things like this go on, I will not even pray. I will not bother. I will just go one corner and be crying. I will think God has deserted me. Huh. But this time I had to like put on my prayer, prayer armor. I'm like, I will not let this happen. I joined the fasting. In that, during that, when we started the fasting, I was crying. I was fasting. I'm praying. Still mourning my lost engagement. I've taken pictures. I've put online. I've showed everybody. All of a sudden, my fiance is like, he's no longer interested. I don't know where to start from. I started fasting and praying. I joined the 21 days fasting and I'm praying. The 13th of January, Pastor made this statement. He said, There is a grace right now. It's a Kairos moment. It's a Kairos moment for people to get married. For the Bible says, None of you shall lack a meter if you will not doubt this prayer. But about 40 days from now, let there be a miraculous connection to your spouse. 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 Lo and behold, on the 14th, a childhood friend of mine, we grew up together, hit me up and we started talking and we were talking. All of a sudden, this, on the second day of talking, this man said, I want to get married to you. Meanwhile, when we were talking the first day, I told him of my engagement and everything that happened. He told me, you will still wear your wedding gown. Because mind you, I've already started sewing my wedding gown and everything. He told me that wedding gown, you will still use it. Within the first day we started talking, he already sent my pictures to his family, blah, 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 that he has met someone he wants to marry. <laughs> everything was just happening like a joke. This was me who was crying on the 31st. Already in a relationship on the 14th. Of January how 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 if not God we were talking talking the next thing after some days he told me pick a date that I should pick a date he wants to go see my people I should pick a date I'm like what 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 is this like what is going on I thought I was dreaming he wants me he doesn't have time for engagement or introduction he wants to go pay my bride price I should pick a date 11th of February ha before we know ba, ba, ba. <laughs> the whole thing was like a dream Pastor Jerry, mommy and no Pastor Ugu, as I'm talking to you, this same me that was dumped on the 31st of January of uh, December. Eh? I am a married woman to the man of my dreams, to a good man. In fact, this husband that God gave me is 10 million times better than the one that dumped me and all the ones I've dated. Pastor Jerry. You know when things like this happen, you will say, how will somebody shout? How you want they shout for this kind of thing? You go, they shock now. Want to say a miracle to the fire Jesus. Jesus is a shocker. He will shock you. Pastor Jerry, as I'm talking to you, I am married. First quarter of the year never ever reached anywhere. Me with the dump on 31st. Look at me now. I'm married. Pastor Jerry, I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start from. But this God that is on this altar, like every day I wake up, I look at my hand. I'm like, wait, Nani don't marry. Like, am I dreaming? What is going on? Pastor Jerry, I don't know where to start from. I don't know what to say. But one thing I would tell anybody on this altar, single ladies looking for marriages, I don't go anywhere. 
Una did the right place. If my God fit do my own after so many failed relationships, failed engagements, the devil pursue me, pursue me, reach on the 31st of December. I no go to church at the house they cry. This God never disappoints. Miracle no the tire Jesus. He no the tire. I mean no the tire.